Welcome back to Ben's Garage. We're not in the garage today. It is miserable sin out there today. But uh, in this video, we're going to start a bit of an experiment. As you know, we've got the solar system, but we need to heat the house. We've got an oil-fired boiler, which central heating does all the radiators. We're down to about 200 litres of oil in our tank. Uh, I think we believe it's about an 1800 litre tank so to fill that back up at current prices is going to cost us 2400 euros. <sighs> Shit and corruption. Here in France the, the elderly retired, disabled, they cast me as retired through a long term illness which it wasn't an illness but anyway that's besides the point. People on low income benefits and that, they get caught given what you call a, a check energy. Now you can use that for your electric bills or you can use it towards your, uh, your oil. You can't use it against your oil if you're going to buy it on payments because they can... Before we used to buy our oil on four payments. So say thousand euros over four payments, nice and easy bill to pay every month. On instalments you can't use a check energy which is a bit of a bugger. But we've got the solar. Now this check energy is about 240 euros. We can pay that into EDF. So what we're experimenting with this year, for this coming winter, is we'll leave that 200 litres of oil in the tank for dire emergencies. If the if it gets sub-zero for days on end and we can't just can't get any heat in the house, we'll use that for that. Hopefully the boiler will, boiler will fire up. But um, we're going to try out some electric options. We'll go around the house in a minute and I'll show you what we've got. And this will be an ongoing thing through the winter. You know, I do my solar stats once a month and I'll give you more info on what we've got here. So we've got an infrared panel, an infrared upright heater, an infrared... So small squat heater, a plug-in fan heater, and it's like a ribbon heater we've got in the bathroom. So we'll have a look round and um, see what what we've come up with. We're going to try all these various ones out and see what is cost effective and what isn't. We're also going to get a, a gas bottle for out. We've got a Caligas fire, which you can have it on one bar, two bar, three bars. You know, the, the old Caligas things that you used to have in the houses. We got one of them on wheels. It's a different sort of heat. Uh, obviously, all this infrared heating is similar to the the, the sort of heat you get through the, through the window from the sun. Um, so it doesn't actually heat the air up in the house. It heats objects up, and then those objects then put out heat. So it'll heat you up, it'll heat your pets up, it'll heat your furniture up. Now these solar, these solar panels, we're not having solar panels indoors. These infrared panels go up on the ceiling or on the wall. Um, I, we've, I've got it just resting up down here at the minute while we're trying it out. And then I think we're going to temporarily stick it on the ceiling. I didn't want to get too involved with putting it on the ceiling because the roof's leaking up there and we're going to have to redo this room at some point. So it will be temporary up on the ceiling we'll just run the extension lead along the ceiling down the wall and then just plug it in to the socket that's all operated off a smartphone um, the heater we've got in the bathroom was just a plug-in one so I've put that on a smart socket a smart plug rather so we'll have a look at that uh, I'm gonna do reviews on all of these heaters over on my other channel Ben's reviews um, so if you are interested in a specific heating method there will be a review popping up on that channel but uh, let's just keep this video short and sweet to the point and uh, we'll see what we can come up with
That is it for this instalment of Ben's Garage Go Solar. This is our heating saga for winter 2022 into 23. Um, I say we'll be running some experiments, seeing how much power it's using, how many times we have to charge the batteries from the grid. Uh, we had to, we've been having to force charge it just to see us through the night. Um, obviously, we've not been getting that much solar. We have just we're supposed to have had today a delivery of four more panels and a framework, but that's been put back to, to till tomorrow. So by the time this video is out hopefully we would have got those panels installed so that will be videos coming along but that should take us up to a total of 3750 watts coming in now the six panels we've got are 380 watts each but i couldn't get 380 so we went for the nearest to it was either 400 or 375 now if i went for the 400s the six 380 panels would have pulled those panels down to 380. So I've gone for the 375. So four 375 panels will pull the other six down to 375. So we're only losing five watts per panel, in theory. Um, yeah, so that'll be videos coming. And I say there'll be more videos on our heating experiment as the months go on. Um, and that's all I can say about it, really. So that's what we're that's what we're planning. That's what we're doing for the winter. Um, hats, coats, and scarves at the ready. Plenty of blankets. <laughs> but the sun is out, and we just had two thousand five hundred watts coming in, which isn't bad on panels that are supposed to be rated at two thousand two hundred. So yeah, there you go. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already, and we'll catch you in the next one. Bye for now.